Hey, it's Catherine from Chakras and Cuss Words, and I'm here to do the birth chart of Eminem. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this birth chart, because I feel like a lot of the celebrities that I've been kind of showcasing have been on this healing path. Eminem is one of the artists who really let us see his own area of healing and processing a lot of area of trauma and tragedy. In the beginning of Eminem's career, he seemed very vocal about many of his situations with his relationships, and some people actually did not um, bless this area about him, but in all honesty, when we look at his birth chart, we're going to see why. So what stands out to me about Eminem's birth chart is he is a sun in Libra. He is also a Libra stellium. He also has a strong energy with his Aquarius moon, and it is believed that he is a ascendant Sagittarius. Two things that really stand out about his Libra stellium is number one, his Pluto is in Libra, which lets me know that his area of transformation and rebirth and that area of death, he really takes that space internal. So there was some trauma in the beginning of his life that I think he almost really took it very much internally. His area of expression had to come out. Like he had to say the things he said, even though he might possibly regret it um, at some points in his life. But in all honesty, with that Mercury in Scorpio, that was the only way that he was actually going to move forward. It's also noted that he has a Mars in Libra, which is placed with his Libra stellium, which lets me know that he has this dynamic with his relationships, especially with his love relationships, that is going to kind of always be there. He is very assertive and aggressive, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's because he's very passionate, and that's really his soul's identity. Another thing that stood out to me about his Libra stellium was he also had his Uranus in Libra, which let me know that he is very rebellious and he really doesn't care what people think. He's going to do what he wants. When I take a look at his Chiron, I see that it is actually in Aries and it was in retrograde at the time of his birth, which honestly I think was a huge benefit for him. I think this let him have a slower approach during his healing process. It probably took him a few decades and he's probably still on it now where he has a area of transition and pathway and really moving forward each day, enjoying every bit of his life. Another thing that really stood out to me is that he has his Jupiter in Capricorn, which to me is very beneficial in how come he became so successful in his career. I also want to take a look at his Ascendant, which holds his um, Neptune, which is all about rising up and growing and really becoming centered in his dreams. Let's be honest, people thought he was delusional, but really he was on the right path.